Hi friends and subscribers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. From today there are 55 days to go until municipal elections take place throughout Israel and in Jerusalem. As in previous municipal elections, the flow of information about the election in English has been nothing short of dismal. I'm working to change that, although as one person my efforts are limited. By far the most polarizing candidate running an election campaign in Jerusalem is Deputy Mayor of Jerusalem, Aryeh King, who is currently mounting an aggressive grassroots campaign, hoping to shore up support in a bid for the top job on the city council. According to my estimates, King has been canvassing local Jerusalem neighborhoods most nights this week, but has thus far almost entirely neglected to release any communications in English. My guess is this is because he knows that once the material does get translated into English, his campaign realizes that word is going to spread about the extent of the extremist ideology he is advancing. To jog memories, King is the guy who has previously endorsed schemes to pay non-Jews to leave Israel and who was recorded on video wishing that a Palestinian resident of Sheikh Jarrah be shot in the head and not the backside. He is often described as an ultra-nationalist and is in turn endorsed by Itamar ben Gvir, Israel's far-right politician known for his extremist views. King's campaign is quite entertainingly entitled Meuchadim. The best translation I can really offer is Uniting Jerusalem with Arya King. The campaign slogan in Hebrew is Chazit Toranit Leomit Lemoatzat Riyat Yerushalayim. My best English translation of this would be something like A nationalistic and Torah vision for the Jerusalem City Council. The adjective Torahnit in Hebrew is derived from the word Torah. So King is essentially mounting a campaign that's designed to appeal to the national religious demographic. This Shabbat, King is planning on visiting the South Jerusalem neighborhood of Har Chuma. Some campaign literature made it into residence letterboxes that was notably more extreme in tone than anything that's yet been published to his Facebook page. A local resident posted the flyer alongside the title, Har Chuma will not be Tehran. This Facebook post in turn made it onto a local Hebrew news website, and now I'm completing the loop by posting about it on my YouTube channel. The red arrow in the post uploaded to Facebook is drawing attention to a sentence that appears under the heading, The Observance of Shabbat in Public and Municipal Spaces. It reads that the campaign will mount, quote, a struggle against those profaning the Shabbat in the First Asian complex, called in Hebrew, Mitchama Tachana. The First Asian is an entertainment complex in South Jerusalem, known for its efforts to be accommodating towards all religious groups in the city. Those groups include Muslim, secular Jews, as well as tourists. The complex thus includes a bar and some restaurants that operate on the Shabbat in defiance of Jewish religious law. If he hasn't already explicitly endorsed this idea, then I think it's pretty reasonable to assume that King's intention is to force the closure of those venues. One word that repeats itself countless times throughout the flyer is ma'avak neget. This means literally a struggle against. And the flyer contains a long litany of things which Arya King is aggrieved about and campaigning against. One of the things he says he's campaigning for is Kedusha Takotel, or the sanctity of the Western Wall. This is possibly a veiled reference to the fact that he intends to mount a struggle against egalitarian uses of the shared religious space. For legal reasons, I'm choosing my words here very carefully, but I suggest that people read between the lines of this leaflet in order to understand its intent. The rest of the leaflet sort of continues in a similar fashion. It says there's going to be a struggle against radical ideology, which I'm guessing means anything on the political spectrum that isn't similarly dogmatic and nationalistic. As I did in my previous video, I'm going to repeat the disclaimer here that I'm not an impartial observer reporting on these developments. Perhaps the best way I could describe myself is a concerned citizen of Jerusalem who, just like the person who uploaded this flyer, is concerned about the potential rise of extremism in Jerusalem. I mean, this city is already pretty extreme, but forcing the small handful of businesses operating on Shabbat to close would kind of be upping the ante a few more notches. If you have tips and news about the local election campaign in Jerusalem, then please feel free to reach me at the email address listed on the contact page of this YouTube channel and subscribe to get more videos.